Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tired world of home automation. Uh, mostly tired because I stayed up too late last night trying to sort out the uh, ridiculous Windows Media Center black window problem. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to screen capture anything, but if you've ever tried to screen capture Windows Media Center, you'll find that they've um, done something odd with it, which means that you just get a black window in your recording afterwards. Um, so I was up till far too late trying to suss that out before I went to work this morning, very tired. Um, I sussed it just about, so um, the idea of this video is to give you a demonstration of how you can switch seamlessly between XBMC and Windows Media Center. What I wanted to really give you, first of all, was a lowdown of um, where I came from, I guess, with the whole home automation thing and what got me into doing what I'm doing currently. Um, and maybe you will follow a similar path. Um, so basically I started out like most people did with Windows Media Center um, and uh, I was blown away by it when I first got it because I was kind of used to having nothing but a TV. Um, so when I first got Windows Media Center and realized I could organize all my videos via it and my photos via it and eventually realized I could do live TV through it, I bought myself a, uh, a TV tuner card for my PC uh, and didn't look back. Well, fortunately, I also didn't look forward um, for then several years. Um, one day, someone at work said, why don't you try XBMC? Uh, it blows media sensors bollocks off. Um, and I said, mm, it doesn't really do live TV, though, does it? Mm. Um, that was a huge mistake. Uh, later on, I finally discovered they'd put in some PVR functionality, and I thought, I'll give it a go. Um, and it was phenomenal com compared to Windows Media Center. It was just so much more intuitive to use, it was prettier, it was a billion times more customizable and it took a little bit of getting used to at first but once I'd got it down it was it was awesome. Um, then one day I, uh, well first of all I realized it couldn't do really properly TV functionality very well. Um, it, its PVR function was more clunky than Windows Media Center uh, and the quality seemed to be like the picture had been stretched, it was just more pixely, and, and and it was just, the resolution just looked worse, and I couldn't figure out for the life of me why. Uh, I spent a long time messing around with the PVR back end on XBMC, uh, long before XBMC started putting it in as as part of uh, Frodo, um, and I, I, gave, I gave up, and I just went back to using Windows Media Center. Uh, so that's how I got into Event Ghost. Event Ghost um, was the only way I could seamlessly switch between XBMC and Windows Media Center uh, without feeling like I was going between two programs. I could press a button on my remote for live television um, and Event Ghost would load up Windows Media Center and I could watch live television and I could press a different button on my remote and it would switch me back to XBMC and it would be like I was in the same, uh, same thing. Um, Later on, I, f I discovered Vox Commando um, and was just blown away, isn't the word. I just couldn't believe that I could control every aspect of the software with my voice uh, and I could get to every shortcut there without having to go left, left, up, down, OK. I could just say, go to music and it would go to music or go to a particular movie and it would go to a particular movie. Uh, see my previous videos or demonstrations if you've not seen this already. Vox Commando is the best thing in the world. Um, so recently I decided to give the Windows Media Center uh, functionality of Vox a go just to see what it was um, what it was like because I was still using the remote whenever I wanted to watch TV um, and many of you probably still will even if you do decide you would like to continue to use Windows Media Center and XBMC um, so if you are a frustrated person uh, as I was with the PVR functionality of XBMC um, then I might have a tutorial for you soon um, it's definitely worth doing because Windows Media Center is better for live TV, there's just no doubt about it. Um, so without further ado, here is me demonstrating how Vox Commando can uh, push you seamlessly from XBMC to Windows Media Center uh, without you really feeling like you've switched programs and back again and you can still control all of the functionality um, without the two uh, impeding each other uh, and overlapping perfectly. Uh, that's it. Alexander, I want to watch live TV. Tuning in now. Volume set to 15. Alexander, go up 5. 
go down. Select. Be the only thing you mine here? The only thing. Trillium D. I'm not familiar with you. What's it used for? Insulation. Mostly for interstellar vessels. Alexander. Vessels. Pause. Alexander. Resume. What insulation does your ship use, Captain? Our Alexander. Line with I Show TV guide. Large crew. Go Why down to select. Look at all those shards of glass. I'll catch them on my tongue for luck. Alexander. I got my Stop. Dad, look. Night. Glorious night. Alexander. Switch back to XBMC. Launching. So thank you for watching. Uh, like the video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And um, tell your friends home automation is the best thing to happen to nerds or non-nerds. Um, I'm not a nerd. I'm fairly retarded in all honesty. Um, as I always say in all of my videos, I'm okay with software. I'm not a computer programmer, and you don't need to be either. Um, buy Vox Commando. Buy that. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it.